All right, guys, here's an update. I, I'm running my solar-powered pool pump here. I added a couple of inverters to get speak some more power out of these four panels. I have four panels mounted over the roof here, 420-watt uh, brass arrows. I added this uh, last one last night. I had to add this little extension frame to the end here. It actually needs a little more frame or sun for the pool pump. I also installed a, a couple cooling fans. Makes that little inverter cool. And that one's keeping that cool. So I got four inverters running back there. I got a 500, a 600, a 250, and a 300. They, I mean, it doesn't do much more to get more of these. I was putting out about 270 or so with the one. Then you add another one, you get like 300 or something like that. So just little tiny bits add more. So I'm getting about 350 or so in the, in the shade here. So here's the pump. So I'm putting out, uh, you can see that, 344. And then got the RPM here. Three hundred and twenty eight watts, sixteen hundred and fifty RPM. I'll show you the water output. Got the waterfalls running over there. You can see it. I don't know if you can see how well you can see it in the camera here. Swirling the water out of the sides. But yeah, so basically it's running for free. I can run this thing all day long. So I usually run the pump from like nine in the morning to three in the afternoon, and it doesn't cost me a penny to uh, filter the pool. I got this Hayward cartridge filter. I believe it's the 530 model. It's pretty large, so. And the pump's working out well, the Hayward uh, Eco Pump. Pretty quiet. You can tell it's running right now. 328 watts. And I got uh, 347 or so going out. 45. So that's the update, guys. We got a little extra shade, and the full pump runs for free off the sun, which is nice. It saves quite a bit of money during the summer. Thanks for watching, and any comments, I'll get back to you. Thanks.